Yo, yo, people, Garrett Dune here for another video, and this video is gonna be in Farming Simulator 19. And today we are working once again at the scrapyard. I'm gonna quickly update you guys on how much money we made last video. So if you guys missed it, we're using this new system pretty much. However, a video performs decides how much money we make. So last video we got 2,054 views, and each of those is valued at a dollar, meaning we made 2,054 dollars. For likes, those are valued at two dollars each. We had 250, which means we made 500 bucks. And for comments, there was 37 valued at $2 each, meaning we got $74. And if you do all the math, that totals up to $2,628. So I've gone ahead and added that in game. And we are going to be getting started here right away. Uh, just for anyone wondering, we are currently sitting at $33,560. So not bad at all. Um, I'm actually pretty happy about that. But let's go ahead and get on moving here. We are going to a pretty interesting call and it's going to actually require both of our different tow trucks that we have, our flatbed and uh, this one right here. So pretty much there is a BMW, it's a Z4 or Z4 M40i Roadster. And whoever was driving, okay wait, I actually think we have to go this way. Uh, but yeah, whoever was driving it, was not the best and they ended up crashing it and now we have to go ahead and rescue it it's in a really weird spot they're saying that it's fully off the ground but they didn't really give me any more details so only time will tell we're gonna be definitely in for an uh, interesting call here because anytime they're saying that none of the wheels are touching the ground usually that means it's propped up uh, in the middle so I'm assuming it's probably on like some kind of fence or rock or I don't know. We'll see once we're there. And I just want to say thank you guys for sticking by. I know recently I've not been uploading too frequently. And that's just because I have a film that's currently in pre-production. And we're entering production very, very soon. Uh, the week of the 12th. So because of that, I have been very busy. And also just school in general has been hectic. So here we are though, and yeah, just like I was thinking, it is stuck on a rock. Okay, so let me turn around here. I'm gonna just kind of go in this area. Didn't we rescue a vehicle uh, that had a tree falling on it, like right over here, not that long ago? That's so strange, okay. This thing turns terribly. Oh, seriously? I would not be passing my driver's test right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of park up to the side for now. We'll throw on our beacons. And we can just hop on out so I can see what we're working with. So there is already a tow hook attached here. So that's good. Glad to see there was um, a trailer hitch mount. But yeah, this thing is really weirdly placed. I am worried about it actually going backwards. Because there's a lot of back weight, as you guys know, in these vehicles. I, like, it's not quite centered, but... Mm, I don't know guys. I don't know. We're gonna have to be very careful. We'll take it down as slow as we can But obviously once gravity kicks in there's not much we can do so they did say the electronics are still working um, Which means I'm going to try closing the roof and I think we just click this and yep There we go. Oh, okay. That was actually really cool Let me see if I can kind of show you guys that animation a bit better. Let's try this one more time. Ooh, look at that. Very clean. Okay. I'm going to turn this thing off, though, because we don't know what kind of other damage it had. I think what we'll do is, for now, just start using our Mac to just kind of get this thing off of here. So all we got to do is turn this bad boy around. Now we can attach our hook or our cable, and now we should be able to start pulling this. Okay. So I'm going to go to this side, just in case. Or actually, wait. If we stand here, it could roll down. Okay, we'll go We'll go right here. Here we go. Let's start pulling this thing. Oh, geez. Um, yep, okay, that's that weight I was talking about. We didn't hit down too hard, but yeah, it wasn't even close to being centered there. Oh, we're scratching this thing. Hmm, should we keep going or try a different approach? I don't want to be just tearing the bottom out, but... Okay, you know what? Let's detach. I have an idea. Okay, we're going to be going up this hill. My truck can handle it, no issue. We obviously have 
six sets of tires versus the normal four that other cars have. And then let me see, maybe we can kind of pull it sideways. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it will make sense momentarily. Okay, so let me attach like, oh, come on. Work with me a bit better. There we go, okay. And then let's see if we can pull this. Here we go, all right. Oh geez, oh geez, okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's only gonna save the vehicle if we do this quickly. Don't want it to roll down at all. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna reposition once again. Part of our struggles is because it's so low to the ground. Obviously there's minimal clearance that we're working with. Okay, and the goal is to get this back wheel uh, kind of like in this position. So pretty much where the hitch is. So let's give it a shot. Here we go. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Now we can keep on pulling. Obviously, this is going to require a flatbed. We're not towing with our with our tow truck. That would be ridiculous. If I raise it anymore, we are going to have a lot of structural damage to the front end. So let's just kind of pull it from a distance. Okay, wait. I actually don't know how we're going to get out of here. Okay, guys, you know what? It's going to be right over here because this is where we used to have our shop in season two of the scrapyard series. So we have this big piece of concrete and it's very flat. We can just drive off that way. So I'm just going to have to kind of pull it forward through all of the forest. What I'm actually going to do is release once again. So then we can kind of move this without damaging anything. Okay. I think if we kind of go up here, as long as I can get it perfectly aligned with our back end, we can fit it through. And now I guess we'll start pulling. So here we go. All right. And okay, obviously our truck is able to handle this. No issues. Just keep an eye on what's going on here. All right. So far, so good. Nothing to complain about. Uh, the owner of this vehicle is definitely going to be having a bad day when they bring this to the mechanic. If they even do that. I don't know. We might just be scrapping this. We're going to have to assess that afterwards. So let's kind of just drop it back. And then only tighten a bit. Okay. Let's give this a shot. So we'll go very, very slow. Oh, geez. Come on. There we are. Sometimes it likes to kind of stutter back and forth. But we are moving. I don't want to floor it at all. Here we go. And yes, that is a floating tree. Don't ask how that happened because I really don't know. So this is probably as far as I want to bring it with this tow truck. Let's go ahead and head on back. We're going to go and switch out to the other vehicle. Oh, and by the way, guys, comment down below what truck we should buy for this series because we're working with quite a bit of money now and our current daily driver, it's just a piece of garbage. So I want to upgrade. Next video should be more than good for that. Um, hopefully this video kind of performs well so then we can get a bunch of <laughs> bunch of money from it. But let's go left. By the way, guys, I'm obviously talking about the in-game money, um, not real life money. <laughs> but we can now turn on into the scrapyard. I love this automatic gate. Okay, so this is parked up here and I'm going to pull the John Deere forward. Okay, I'll leave that there. <laughs> I should have probably put on the parking brake. And just a reminder, this Ford Falcon, we aren't quite sure what we're going to do with it yet. So I'm not just going to throw it in the scrap pile. I'm hoping we'll be able to get that thing up and running. Maybe one day use it uh, to get to work. Okay, I keep, I keep hitting this trailer. No, stop hitting it. Not the trailer, the bed itself. And I don't know where all the weight is because the engine's clearly at the front but there are these big barrels at the back there we go let's give this a shot and okay i think we actually got it first try not too bad i'm gonna go very slow though just in case it's a bit off center okay so let's bring this rack on down we are definitely rated to support the weight up top let's just double check oh yeah okay we're all good no worries there and let me drop it onto here now i've never tried using the top rack for a vehicle before today so let's we'll see if this works as planned here we go three two one boom 
Nice and quick. Okay. And perfect. That actually is probably the best spot on the lot we could have put it. Now we are leaving the scrapyard with the flatbed to get this job finished. So I'll take it right on out of here. Then let's take another right. Now we're going to go left. Woo! Down the hill. Back on up the hill. Make a left-hand turn. Go down the nice skinny path and make a left into the driveway. Okay, so here we are. Let's turn on around and get ourselves as well aligned as possible. All right, that's good alignment. Now we just gotta drive forward since this thing does shoot pretty far back. And here we go. Hopefully I left enough space. Should be all good. And honestly, this is gonna be a little steep for this vehicle. Hmm, okay, let's just give it a shot. I can attach to here and start pulling. Here we are. All right, back on up, keep on moving. Also guys, I just wanna quickly say, we are getting so close to 3,000 members in the Discord server. Uh, last I checked, we were like 50 away. So if you guys wanna join on up, feel free to do so. Links down below, I would greatly appreciate it. And we are now fully loaded up. All right, can drag this thing back on here. And it sits nicely down. I kind of like how it's automated since it does it perfectly every time. But, I don't know. I guess it has its pros and cons. So now, let's get on moving. So right-hand turn, down the skinny path. Make another right-hand turn, down the hill. Woo! Back on up the hill. Sharp right. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Nice big left. Left again. The vehicle is bouncing around. Maybe you should drive a bit slower. But we are here. So I'll just turn on in. And then for now, I'm not quite sure what we should do with this. Because I have a feeling they're not going to want this thing scrapped. Like they said, like they obviously called us. They are fully willing to have it scrapped. But I don't know. Once they assess the damage, I feel like this thing can be repaired. So I guess that means we could just throw it onto the rack as well. We can deattach back here. I'm not going to forget to do it this time, like I always do. And then we'll just take this John Deere and try moving it as carefully as we can. Let's actually go to the other side. I think we'll have a slightly better approach over there. Okay, I'm going to be trying a weird camera angle. I don't know if it's going to work because everything's kind of backwards. But let's see how this does. Okay. So keep on moving. Go, 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 go. I'm actually going to shift over a bit. Wait, where's the front? Oh, the front's there. Okay, wait. We actually have to kind of shift more the other way. There we go. And then keep on pushing through. I probably am never going to use the same camera angle again. Now let's widen this thing out. And we do have it in our... I don't know why I was saying in our... I mean on our forks. <laughs> it's in the air though. So let's back on up. And oh, geez, it is sliding. It is sliding. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Back down, back down, back down. I'm going to just kind of try repositioning as best as we can. This is a challenge, though. This isn't good. I don't know what to do. This is very unsafe. Let's see. Maybe our tow truck can help us. Okay, so I'm going to turn this thing on. And then I'm going to attach on to the back end. And then kind of use this to pull it forward. Please don't slide around. There we go. Okay. That's actually working exactly how I was hoping for. That's what I'm talking about. Now we aren't hitting either of the tires. I want to get this thing on the ground as soon as we can and drop it down. Alrighty. Never want to touch that thing again. I'm really hoping that they're going to take it from our possession. And all those scratches on the bottom were just blaming on the rock because there was really minimal we could do to prevent that from getting more damaged. So that's the end of this video. Why not click the secret video in the top right corner? But first, make sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up button down below. That's also where you can find my Discord server in the description. There are many different links such as my Twitter, Instagram, Patreon page, merchandise store, and even the Garrett Plays membership link. You guys are awesome. Bye bye.